Let's take a look to see how you can hide your formulas from prying eyes. I've put out a couple videos about protecting spreadsheet data that go beyond the standard sheet protection schemes. A video like protecting different sheets within a workbook with different passwords, or a video on accessing certain areas of a spreadsheet based on your login name. But now let's look at a protection feature that often gets overlooked, and that is hiding your formulas. Now the spreadsheet that I have here, the green areas are where users to be able to type. The red areas contain formulas that perform certain actions, like lookup functions or calculations. So we can see on this first record, we just type in World of Sports, we type in a part number. But then the system uses a lookup function to look up that part number and bring back a unit cost and a unit weight. The user types in a quantity, and then we have some calculations that calculate the total cost, the total weight, we look up the shipping charge, and we calculate the grand total. So we want the user to type in the green areas, but not be able to type in the red areas. Now that is easily achieved with sheet protection. Now everything in this sheet is protected by default when you engage sheet protection. So we're going to highlight these green areas, then right click in one of those highlighted cells, go to format cells, and on the protection sheet, we can say we wish to have those areas unlocked when sheet protection is engaged. We'll go up to review, protect sheet, and I'll protect the sheet. So now I can click in a green area and I can type, but when I click in a red area, I can't type. And that's where most people's protection journey ends. Notice when I click in a red cell, a locked cell, I can still read the underlying formula. So I can see cells that contain normal user entered data, but I can also see all of the formulas that are in the spreadsheet. Well, what if you need to hide these formulas? Maybe these formulas have sensitive information in them like a lookup function might have a pointer to a file location on a network, which displays the server name and the path to that data. That could be information that you don't wish to generously give out. So here's what we'll do. I'm gonna go back and unprotect the sheet. Now we'll highlight all of the cells that have our formulas. Right click in one of the selected cells and go to format cells. So as we can see, these cells will be locked, but we also want them to be hidden. In other words, the cell contents to be hidden. I'll hit okay, go back up to protect sheet, We'll lock the sheet, and now when we click in these cells, any of these cells that have formulas, nothing is displayed in the formula bar. We can't type in these cells. We can only enter data in cells that are green that we've left open, but nowhere in here is the user allowed to go in and see what formulas were used to create these numbers. I'll unprotect the sheet. Again, if we go back to one of those cells, right-click Format Cells on the protection sheet, we've designated that cell that holds the formula to be hidden when sheet protection is engaged. So let us know in the comments what you think about this feature that can hide formulas when protecting workbooks. Don't forget to take advantage of our ever-increasing video library, and feel free to leave a comment to suggest an upcoming video. And remember, at BCTI, the learning never stops.